Okay, so we have our book Snakes today. When we were reading this book last week, we sort of figured out that the book goes, how the book goes, and that it's kind of divided up into chapters. So if I flip to our table of contents, we saw the chapter one, Snake Secrets Revealed, and chapter two was Snakes Alive. We also figured out that the inside of each chapter, there were snake secrets. And those secrets were in colors. So that kind of helped us stand out from the rest of the text. Okay. So as we continue to read today, we are going to start with chapter three. Chapter three is titled, Hissing Hunters. Let me see if I can turn the light off real quick so we don't get the glare. Oh, that's a little better. So chapter three is Hissing Hunters. Are you already predicting like I am? Are you thinking that you're going to know what this next section is going to teach us? Share with your learning coach real quick. What do you think this chapter is going to be about? So we have hissing hunters. Hiss. Snakes are hunters. Some hiss loudly before they strike their prey but most hide silently in water, trees, or burrows, and then attack. The garden tree boa lives in the rainforest of Central and South America. When this boa senses its prey, it pounces. Hmm, interesting. When I think of animals pouncing, I think of cats, or lions, or tigers. Certainly not snakes. Anacondas hide in shallow water. When something tasty passes by, they grab it with their teeth. Then they drag it under the water. Anacondas are constrictors. They coil their long bodies around their prey. Each time the captured animal takes a breath, the snake tightens its hold. The snake squeezes so tightly that its prey can't breathe. So the snake secret here is that anacondas hide in shallow water. So that's one of the secrets of a snake hunter. And if we look at the picture closely, they kind of blend in so you almost wouldn't see it. Down here, our caption inside the picture says, a hungry anaconda grabs, strangles, and eats a meal, then swallows its prey whole. Interesting. So what did this secret teach us about snake hunters? So if the main idea of this part is snake hunters, what's the main idea, or what is the supports that help us figure out what are the secrets of being a snake hunter? So what I want you guys to do in your reading journals is we're gonna write, the main idea of the whole text is that snakes have a lot of secrets. The main idea of this section that we just read is snakes are hunters. So underneath that, I want you to make two or three bullets and write down what are some ways that snakes are hunters. What were some things that the book told us about how snakes hunt? So if you need to replay those last couple pages that I read, go ahead and do that so you're able to fill in your bullets. Right now, keep listening as I read because you may find another 
snake hunting secret that you can add to your list. Snakes shake, rattle, and roll. Rattlesnakes' rattles are made of rings of keratin, the same material as your fingernails. The rings are attached to the end of the rattler's tail. A rattler gets a new ring each time it sheds its skin. Rattlers shake their tails when they are scared. The rings knock together and make noise. Most animals run from the sound of this venomous sound. Supersized snake snacks. It's a snake. Is a snake's mouth big enough to swallow an egg or an animal? Snakes can dislocate their jaws so that their mouths become huge. <clears throat> Even a small snake can eat a supersized snack. It can take weeks for a snake to digest just one meal. The biggest snakes can eat whole pigs, monkeys, and deer. So that last sentence kind of tells you how big <clears throat> their mouths really get. Fantastic. Venomous snakes poison their prey. They use their fangs to inject a venom when they bite. Spitting cobras also spray their venom. They can spit venom from their fangs at an enemy eight feet away. Wow. So I've heard some very interesting ways that snakes are hunters. So hopefully on your chart in your journal, you have come up with at least two to three different ways, maybe even more, that snakes are hunters. All right, so now we're gonna move on to chapter four of our book. What scares snakes? Hmm, this is really cool. There are things that snakes are afraid of now these are some secrets I want to know about. Do you? So as I read this part, suddenly I recall watching the Discovery Channel. An owl swooped down out of the air and grabbed a snake with its talons and carried it away to its nest. So I wonder if snakes are afraid of owls. Do you know anything already about big cats, rats, hedgehogs, birds, or insects eating snakes or snake eggs? Hmm. Let's read to find out what might scare snakes. Big cats, rats, hedgehogs, birds, and some, and even some insects eat snakes and snake eggs. Many animals such as mongooses are immune to snake venom. That means they can eat venomous snakes without getting a stomach ache. Hmm. Very interesting. Over here it says, the cobra's venom cannot harm this mongoose. And this is a mongoose if you're not sure what it looks like. Kind of looks like a, like a rat type animal, but he's got very, very sharp teeth, much sharper than a rat. So what I want you guys to do as I'm reading through this section is our main idea of this section is what scares snakes. Okay, so go ahead and write that down. We're gonna put that in our box so that it stands out. And as I'm reading, I want you to try and come up with two to three bullets of details about what scares snakes, okay? How do snakes stay safe? Even snakes without venom have many ways to protect themselves. Most snakes quickly slither away when they sense danger. The ball python curls up and waits for its enemy to pass. The hognose snake pretends to die. It flips over and lies on its back. Sometimes it even sticks out its tongue. 
Some snakes can poop whenever they want. They make themselves so dirty and smelly that predators won't eat them. Yuck. Okay, so this one, this page kind of changed. It didn't tell us so much what scares snakes, but instead it tells us how they stay safe. Snakes are in danger. Humans are destroying snakes and their habitats. The western diamondback rattlesnake is endangered. It is hunted for its meat and skin. Most snakes are not harmful to humans. They are important to the balance of nature. They keep the population of rats, mice, and birds under control. Up here, our caption says, the Western Diamondback Rattlesnake lives in Arizona, New Mexico, and Texas. Our little information window, or a little fun fact over here, it says, deuce pythons make good pets. Some snakes make good pets. Corn snakes and garter snakes, such as this one that these girls are holding right here are beautiful, friendly, and easy to care for. Other snakes should be left alone. Some are endangered and many, including pythons, are dangerous. And then we have visit the reptile house. And I know most zoos, sometimes the aquariums, they have reptile houses that you can walk through. Says Tanya Minot is a zookeeper at the reptile house at the Philadelphia Zoo in Pennsylvania. When she was 11, she volunteered to care for injured animals at the museum. When she was 15, Minot started working summers at the Children's Zoo, which is part of the Philadelphia Zoo. Now she works with snakes and lizards. She feeds them and cleans their cages. She also teaches visitors about the reptiles. There's no reason to be scared of snakes, said Minna, but she admits that it is a challenge to keep snakes happy and in their cages. They are extremely good escape artists. If they find an opening, they use it. So that means they like to escape from their cages. All right. So this last chapter, what scares snakes? We were writing down some bullets and this was the only set of pages really that it talked about what could possibly scare snakes. So if for this section, if you wanna make a bullet about how snakes stay safe, you can do that. And if you wanna make a bullet about how snakes are in danger, you may do that as well. Okay, and those can all fall under that what scares snakes. All right, so today, after you have finished making your bullets, in Canvas, I have posted a question for you to answer. Okay, and that question is which sentence tells what the book is mostly about. And you have your four choices and those are posted in Canvas. So I want you to read your four choices and decide which of those sentences do you think tells us what the book is mostly about. But you're not just gonna pick one and tell me A, B, C, or D. You're gonna have to tell me why you chose that sentence to tell us what the book was mostly about and why you didn't choose the other ones. Okay? All right. Have a great day, guys.